In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the simplest but most effective gun bunch plays in Madden history, and that is the play Stick. This comes to us out of the West Coast Bunch. If you guys want to get my entire West Coast offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it will help you become a better Madden player because you're not only going to get access to just the Bunch ebook, you get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for Madden 24, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and anything new that we drop while you are a member. Again, if you want to sign up, the link's going to be down below, but let's talk about the play Stick out of the gun bunch formation. Now what makes this play so good is this unique corner route to the right hand side of the screen. All we're going to do to set this up is we're just going to streak our uh, slot receiver and then we're going to try to snap the ball as fast as we possibly can. And what you're going to notice about this stick corner route is that it's going to do a really, really good job at being able to beat man to man coverage. The default alignment that most defenses are going to have is they're going to press the slot receiver. They're going to not press the tight end and they're not going to press your outside bunch receiver. So they're going to have to actually make an adjustment to do that. And as you can see, I mean, this is just an absolute laser if they don't do that adjustment. Now, let's say that they go ahead and they do press this outside corner, then I'm going to actually use a different route combination. The route combination that I'm going to use is I'm going to put the slot receiver on a corner route. I'm going to put the tight end on a streak and I'm going to drag the backside receiver. The purpose for this uh, adjustment is because this is going to allow us to be able to uh, have a little bit more success against press man to man. You see, we're going to get kind of a natural pick, natural rub, and that corner route is going to get over the top uh, of a of a cover one style of defense. So if they are running any kind of press man, this is a great way to attack it. And then also you have this kind of backside drag as a check down. I find that it's a little bit better than the backside slant uh, for attacking really any defense that you're going to face. Now let's talk about why this is going to be such a good play for zone coverage, because what a lot of people like to do when they see a compressed set is they'll run a baseline and pressed cover four drop style of defense. Well, the beauty of this play is if we see a defense like this, this is where the secondary setup is super valuable because what you're going to notice here on the right hand side is because we have this short corner and this deep corner route, that outside corner is going to get wide open on the sideline and that quarter from the cover four is never going to be able to defend that route. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to start changing up what they're doing. Maybe they go to a cover three, maybe they go to a cover uh, two, maybe they go to a cover three cloud, a lot of different options, but if they go cover three or cover four here, you're going to notice that this stick, uh, this, this um, shorter corner route is going to do a really good job of being able to attack this defense. Now, if you do get a base aligned curl flat, that's actually a decent adjustment um, and can kind of muddy this up. But typically, this is going to get open to the sideline. It's got to be kind of patient with the route. So what are they going to have to do to stop this short corner route? This is where we're going to kind of get into uh, some you know different types of adjustments. But the main thing that they're going to have to do to stop this corner route is they're going to have to put a cloud flat over there on the right-hand side. Now, this cloud flat needs to be pressed, or at least it needs to not be dropped back to 30 yards. If they drop that cloud flat back to 30 yards, it'll get too much depth, and it won't be able to properly cover that short corner. What that's going to mean, though, is now our deeper corner route is going to be wide open against the cover four or the cover two coverage because the tight end streak is going to pull the deep half uh, away from the sideline. And then, of course, that short corner is being taken by that that uh, pressed cloud. So as you can see, if they do not have the outside cloud backed off, then, you know, this is going to be wide open again and again and again. And you can throw it again and again and again. So not only does this play beat man coverage really well, but it also beats zone coverage. Now, if you were to, let's say you don't have slot apprentice and you were to run this against cover four, cover three, and just use the, the first setup with the streak, what you're going to find is this will still be pretty good. I will say that um, I think in this year's game with deep out zone knockouts and with outside quarters baseline pressed, it can be a little bit more difficult uh, than using the two corner routes. But in general, if you just strike the slot receiver, you're going to find a lot of success with this play because the short corner route just kind of gets in this soft pocket that most 
uh, corner routes just don't really attack. And so it's what makes this place so good. And all the while, it's also one of the best man beating corners in the game. I want to thank you for watching this video, guys. And if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure that you join the Patreon. I'll put a link to that down in the description for just $10. You're going to be able to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, including all of the updates to those ebooks and anything new that we release while your membership is active. So thank you guys for watching this video. And we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.